Hi, in this video we're going to introduce timers. So everything is about to get really fun. We've learned all the basics and now with timers we're going to be able to introduce animations into our programs. So the first animation program that we're going to write is going to be a moving ball. So we're going to write that and then we're going to see how it all works. So let's go into our code editor. So the first thing I'm going to do is declare a variable called ball out here. So notice that I'm not declaring this in a function. This is the only time that we do this. Um, this is so the scope of this variable is outside all functions. This is a global variable. We don't want to have global variables in general, but we'll make ball a global variable. And we'll say ball equals new circle uh, with a radius 20. And we'll add the ball. So we run that, we have our ball in the top left corner. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a timer. So I'll write set timer, uh, draw 20. So don't worry about what it's doing exactly, I'll explain that in a bit. Then I'll write function draw, and then in that function all I'm going to write is ball.move55. Five, five. So let's run this program. And there we go, we have a moving ball. Maybe I'll change this to 2-2, two, two, and the ball will move a little bit more slowly. So I've written our first animation, but let's really break it down and see what's going on. So first I want to explain to you the idea of animation. And the idea of animation is that first we draw something, then we wait a little bit of time, and then we repeat. So we're basically just drawing, waiting a little bit, and then drawing something a little bit different. And when that happens in a sequence, it looks like an animation. So as a picture, this is what it looks like. First, maybe we have the ball uh, in this first position all the way on the left. And then when we draw it the next time, it's moved a little bit. And then when we draw it again, it's moved a little bit. And then when we show those pictures right after another, it looks like an animation. Let's make that even a little bit clearer. I've taken this picture of a ball and I've put it on a number of slides. And so if I zoom through the slides, right, it looks like an animation. But really, all that's happening is it's a single drawing, and it's just changing a little bit each time. But if I move through the slides quickly, it looks like an animation. So nice. That's pretty cool. So this is the code for the moving ball. So let's look at the timer. Right here, I call the function setTimer, where I pass in the parameters draw and 20. So let's figure out what's going on. So setTimer, that's just a function. And here, draw and 20, those are the parameters, those are the inputs to the function. But more specifically, this first parameter, what it is, is it's a callback function. It's a, it's a function that we're going to call every certain amount of time. And what that certain amount of time is, is it's 20 milliseconds. So what this function call is saying is call the function draw every 20 milliseconds. So it's like a timer. Uh, we start this timer, and then you know, every certain amount of time, we call what's called the callback function. So as more general, the function looks like set timer. We have a callback, and then we have some delay. So it's like we're saying call the callback function, called callback, every delay millisecond.